All right. So for our second part of the first assignment, we're going to be reopening that same uh, same document we were working on, the flyer. All right. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to insert some text. All right. So text is a big part of InDesign because it is a document editing system. Now, uh, I realized that we might have made our image a little bit too big by going about half the page. So what I want to do is here, I'm going to just reduce the size of my frame. And now I'm going to click on this fitting. Uh, I'm going to move my image up in it, just clicking on that little circle and moving it up. So now I've got a little bit more room here at the bottom, and our image hadn't taken any uh, any lost quality there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and right about here under it, we're just going to insert a text box, and our text box is just going to be lunch special, and we can leave it in that Minion Pro uh, font is fine, <clears throat> but we do want to up the size of the font. So right here, while you had text selected, you'll notice that this bar changes depending on what you have selected. So while I have my text selected, I'm just going to move my font up, uh, and I'm going to go up to, let's see, probably around 100, uh, 96. Okay, so 96 is all the way across now. Uh, if you remember uh, from anything that you've learned from me in the past, that at one point of font is 172nd of an inch, so it's 72 points. That font is going to be an inch tall. And points measure how tall your font is, not, not necessarily how wide, but how tall they appear on the page. So at 96 points, that means that your font is 96 uh, 72nds, okay, of an inch. So that means that it is one and a third inches tall on your page. Now, now that you have lunch special in, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit uh, of flare underneath because flare is a great thing in InDesign. Uh, we're going to hold shift and make a line with the line tool. We just picked that up right there. So with the line tool, you're just going to hold down shift and go a straight line straight across. And now we're going to show you, I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can edit your line. So look right here, if I hold down W on my keyboard, this is what it looks like. It's not too special looking uh, with just this one line. I'm going to bring it down just a hair so there's a little bit of space. Uh, but this line is just, it's a little bit boring. So let's go ahead and add some fun to it. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to do uh, thin, thick. It's about halfway down these first options of your line. And this is the line style box that drops down right here. So thin, thick right there. Okay, if I zoom in, uh, you can see that it is not done that much changing. We're going to up our line size to uh, let's go seven point on the line. So again, that's the same uh, width that you have right here for your text. So seven points is going to be getting pretty large for a, just a line. So now if I hit W on the keyboard, you'll see that it looks a little bit more uh, sophisticated, I guess you would say, as far as your style goes. So that's just a line that we put all the way across. All right, and then the next thing we want to do is we're going to insert text. Now. You can insert text in any program, but you can also, but inserting text into InDesign is going to be uh, very easy. So what you want to do is go to File. You want to go to Place. In our files, you have that text document. It is called coffeecafe.docx. It's a Word document. And you're just going to click Open, just like that. And you'll notice that when I open text from the file place, that you can see that the mouse has now turned into a bunch of text. Our pointer has turned into a bunch of text. And if you look at it, it says Coffee Cafe introduces lunch specials for the week. So it's actually previewing the text that you're going to put in here. So what we want to do is drag out a text box. It's going to be about halfway of our screen right here. And just make that uh, into our special little text box right there. And we're going to take and select our text, and we're going to make it bigger. Uh, so let's go to 14 point, oops, sorry about that. Let's go to 14 point font and let's see how that looks. All right, so uh, you'll notice now that we have a, a large area that has, that has text in it. So if I hit W on the keyboard to preview that, you'll see that we have text introduced into our flyer. So 
that's all we're going to do for this segment. Uh, what you're going to do right now is you're going to come up to File. You're going to go to Save As. And we're going to rename this because we're changing where what we're doing here. And we're going to Flyer 2 with our last name. So all you got to do is change the 1 to the 2 and click Save. That way you keep your file separate. And if you ever mess up, you can go back. All right, guys. Great job.